Hi everybody, welcome back to Tuesday. I'm Christopher Tuesday. Um, AKA Captain Neckbeard. <laughs> so, it's been a while. I'm back. It's been two weeks. It's been, you know, not been a bad two weeks, but it ain't been a great two weeks. It's been an up and down two weeks. Um, and I'm back. I, I, I feel comfortable be getting back on to YouTube. And I will put up the RuPaul Drag Race Tarot Card Part 2 video. It's been a while. Um, I've made a couple of videos, but I didn't post them. Some were personal and some were political. And I have a conspiracy theory, but it might be too late to post it. But welcome back. Welcome back to the land of where I just talk about what I want to talk about. Because it's my channel. To quote Trixie Mattel and Katya. So, what I want to talk about today is, of course, Meghan McCain. What I want to talk about with Meghan McCain is, again, she is ignorant. She's willfully ignorant. Um, today on The View, they didn't quite go to where I wanted them to go. I wanted them to talk about Marsha Blackburn and her going on about Lieutenant Colonel, something like that, please. Vinman, please be okay. Please don't be too mad with me getting his name wrong. Hey Google, Lieutenant Colonel Vinman. So yeah, Lieutenant Colonel Vinman being attacked by Senator Marsha Blackburn from Tennessee. Now, she is awful. She talked about his uh, his Americanness, whether he's a true patriot because of his background with his immigrant parents. She talked about his service of duty, all this on Twitter, all so that she could get props from President Trump because Marsha Blackburn is a Trumper. Now, granted, I understand where she's coming from as far as she wants to get reelected. She wants to keep her job. She's an I don't know if she's a good senator. I don't know anything about her. I do know this. I called both her offices. You're like, why did you call her offices? Of course, you live in Georgia. I called both her offices because she needs to know it is not acceptable what she did to Lieutenant Colonel Vinman. It is not. Marsha Blackburn is a disgusting human being. And I told her in my voicemail and I gave her my number. I gave her my legal last name. Uh, I told her, you are deplorable. Hillary Clinton, and this will lead into Meghan McCain, should have never apologized by calling you Trump people deplorable. Because you Trump people are deplorable. You are nasty, disgusting, deplorable people. And yes, I am co-opting the word nasty. But in this case, when I mean nasty, I mean dirty. I mean, smelly, slimy, swamp creatures that Trump said he was going to get rid of. But that's neither here nor there. Trump is up for impeachment. And I have a conspiracy theory about Nancy Pelosi and why she chose to hold on to those papers. It's not going to quite work, but it'll work enough. My conspiracy theory and her motives that I believe. Anyway, I'm back. <laughs> so, Megan McCain you know, made a comment about Marsha Blackburn, but she pivoted it to Hillary Clinton and said that Hillary Clinton did the same thing to Tulsi Gabbard, which is why Tulsi Gabbard is suing Hillary Clinton. No, it is not the same thing. Now, her point was, in America, we are starting to attack our veterans. We are starting to attack our military, and we're starting to attack the people that, you know, Keep us a free country so far. No. First of all, when Hillary Clinton made those comments about Tulsi Gabbard, she never, as far as I know, and I watched the video, and I could be wrong, could be wrong. I could have transitioned into another alternate Mandela Effect history timeline. But she never mentioned or disparaged Tulsi Gabbard's service military service. So, no, Megan, that's a false equivalent. This woman, Marsha Blackburn, went after his service. Okay? So, there's that. So, that's not the same. Number two, Marsha Blackburn is a sitting senator who has been sworn 
to uphold the Constitution. Hillary Clinton is no longer a civil servant. She's a civilian now. Yes, she's a very public civilian. Yes, she will always have power and weight behind her words. But she is a civilian. And she was speaking as a civilian. I want Tulsi Gabbard to sue her. Because I want you all to see how Tulsi Gabbard was being used by the Russians as a Russian doll. But that's neither here nor there again. Then Megan wanted to just go on and on about Hillary Clinton. Megan went to a good school. Now, I forget the school she went to, and I'm not going to look it up. But she went to an Ivy League school. Megan is willfully ignorant. She is stupid. And nepotism is the only reason why she has any place on The View nepotism and they brought up nepotism uh, today on the view too because of hunter biden um and she was very quiet she's very quiet actually a lot today i don't know if she's been quiet lately i've been patchy with my watching it but i know she's been very quiet a lot um for the first segment she didn't say a damn thing a damn thing she just sat there just sat there like a lump what if I, you know, you're on a talk show, you're supposed to contribute. That you're, you're a paid pundit. You are paid for your opinion because your opinion is supposed to be an expert opinion. It, you're supposed to have expert facts. You are so stupid. And you are not stupid. But you are stupid. And this is the thing. She has always been able to coddle, coddle herself in these warm, you know, cocoon of being, you know, Megan, John McCain's daughter and Sidney McCain's daughter. The money from her mother and the position of power her father had has always been sort of a shelter, a, a, an, a, an armor, so to speak. And yes, yeah, some of it got through to her, but it's never gotten to her. She's never had to deal with criticisms the way she's had to deal with um, being on The View. And you can see that she was ill-raised. Her mom and dad, whether you want to say, oh, the late John McCain, you can't say anything about him. He's a saint. Why, Chris, are you talking about the late John McCain? Because he was a fucking human being who made fucking mistakes. And I don't necessarily think he was a fucking hero. Um, He was a hero one time in his life. The rest of the time, he was a fucking asshole. He was a fucking asshole, and he was a fucking warmonger, and he was a fucking... Mm, don't get me started on Don McCain. Anyway, um, and now, now the mourning period is gone, and we can really, truly look at his legacy. And we can look at the legacy that he left behind on The View, Megan McCain. She is ill-bred. Ill-bred. And I cannot stand the fact that they did not ask Abby to stay and did not convince Abby to stay and Megan is still on the show. So yes, this is part of it. So this is my rant. This is a Megan McCain rant, really. Um, to, to catch up with how I feel about what's been going on with The View all this time. Uh, I, and, and look, Abby, you know, I had my problems with Abby. Made a video about Abby. Was Abby Bland as beige at certain points. Yeah, you know. Was Abby good at her job? She was better than Megan. She was better than Megan. She wasn't the greatest, but she was better than Megan. Megan McCain does not deserve her job. And they're going to keep her on there. Anyway, welcome back Tuesdays. Welcome back to Tuesday. Welcome back. This is my channel. Christopher Tuesday. Now, hit the like button, smash the like button, caress the, <laughs> the like button, caress it. Later on, uncaress the like button while you're clearing out your likes. I know I do it. Subscribe, and I'll see you next time. I'm back. All right, love you, love you, love you.